Well, with the blink of an eye, gas prices jumped the $3 mark. The question, is there a glass ceiling? Is there no stopping the rise of a gallon of gas? Well, the latest Lundberg survey shows that today, South Carolina averaged for regular self-serve $2.87 per gallon. The national average is now $3.10. In order to avoid the high prices, Charlestonians are trading their keys for a mass transit ticket. ABC News 4's Sarah DeMarco joins us from outside the Medical University Hospital. Sarah, does this mean that CARTA ridership is up? It is up, Victoria. More than 42,000 more passengers rode CARTA last month than they were in January of 2007. Now that number, half of it is thanks to MUSC hospital students and staff who are now catching the bus to keep cash in their pockets. If you're like most drivers who ride through Charleston on a daily basis, you've more than likely seen a CARTA bus or two roll by. But maybe you've never considered cutting your car out of your commute. For those who have, listen to the savings. It would cost me as much to pay for gas for a day coming down here as it does for an entire month riding the car. To... That's easily 200 bucks a month dental student Justin Ward can spend on something other than fueling his truck. For hospital employees, a month's worth of rides cost $5. For regular riders, it's 64 Well worth it to Susan Bailey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She can't understand why more drivers don't ditch idling in I-26 traffic at a price continuing to push past $3 a gallon. You're talking I drive maybe a mile or two to pick up the shuttle and then a mile or two home. So, you know, you can't beat that. Right now, CARTA is offering these express routes from places like James Island and Mount Pleasant where these commuters can park their cars and then get on the bus. This program's only been around since last January, but the transit representatives, they tell us that thanks to this program and higher gas prices, it is growing the Charleston transit system. Ridership is up 16% compared to last year. Reporting live in downtown Charleston, Sarah DeMarco, ABC News 4. Makes sense. Thank you, Sarah.